Do I keep the Career GT or do I potentially sell the Career GT? Man, how do I give this up? All right, you sons of bitches. We'll be back in a week. Palm tree, don't go anywhere. That's it, you guys. Dave and I are out of here, leaving Avenue of the Arts. We gotta go back to Canada. We got the 488 Tire Slayer. Should be done. Dave's Urus had a makeover. That should be done. We got cars. We got vlogs. We also gotta go see Mike Hall, that billionaire son of a bitch. Not Mike, that's Mike. Bad August. Uncle Ray Ray. He needs to let me drive that Black Series like a man. He needs to sell you the F40 for a loss like the a man. F40. Everybody wanted to get an F40. A few people said P1 over the F40. So Uncle Ray wants me to buy a new luxury vehicle. So what he'll do is he'll send me one that I like, like a Bentayga, which I'm not going to get, by the way. But anyway, he gives me a price. And they say, <laughs> how much is that? And the price changes every five minutes by $30,000. $260, $290. Uber? Dude, hey, only the come best. Come with me, come with me. Real quick, real quick, real quick. Come on. We'll be right back. We got to check on something. We don't have storage for all the cars when we leave. So they're kind of scattered all over the place. We have the F12, as you know, at Gintani. We also left the 720 GTR there because he's fixing the exhaust. And then the hotel it always does us a solid and lets us leave a car. We got to take this car and PFS is going to come probably pick this up later. But we got to say goodbye to the Aperta real quick. I got to bring a car cover down because this car just sits with no cover on it and it gets dusty. It's actually not that dirty down here. All right, Aperta. We'll see you in a few days. We'll go home to Canada. We'll bring you back some new toys. By the way, we have an upgrade for this that everybody asked for. I actually have a way for this car and it's from Vorsteiner. Brand new wing they got, it's all carbon fiber. I gotta follow up with them to see if we can get it so we can get it put on in the next trip. But for now, buy a Perta, don't go anywhere. Goodbye, Avenue of the Arts. Until next time, let's go guys. We've arrived at the LAX terminal, but we're on the outskirts. Traffic is the worst we've ever seen it. David and I didn't anticipate this. We're actually boarding <laughs> in 20 minutes. 12.05, we board at 1225. Show your COVID test, your Vax card, your birth certificate, your dad's birth certificate, blood type, favorite food, and you have to prove it, and it's hard. So right now, for the first time, like really, really. This guy's close to you right now. We're, we're, oh, we're in this. <laughs> <laughs> He's doing that on purpose to mess with you. Fingers crossed, we make it through security fast. Thanks, brother. Welcome to DD. Yeah, it's not the first time we've ran through an airport. <laughs> You got lucky, look at the security. You watch the channel? I do, I do watch Dude, it. Thanks brother, I appreciate you. Hey, I appreciate you. Man. And we'll check off. that Rolex time. <laughs> not today we don't. Or AP. <laughs> So we made it. Dave's reviewing some new merch ideas. He's got some stuff from Anthony in. 720 merch. Packaging out to the runway. I'll see you guys when we land. We're on Canadian soil, or maybe not. It's Canadian airways. You can take the pilot. He grabbed it. He's like, is this your charger? I was like, no, it's my douchebag friends. I told you guys I left California because the weather sucks. Look at Canada. We got all the good weather. Ah, nature. I love nature. It's so natural. But do you know what I love more than nature? All right, guys, it's that time again to thank today's sponsor, Raid Shadow Legends. Let's get straight to the game. Now, if you've heard of Raid Shadow Legends, which odds are you have, unless you're a psychopath that lives in Rum's basement, rolling cigarettes in the dim light. The only light source room is the TV, which is just black and white, and it's a little TV tray. Anyways, if you've heard of Raid Shadow Legends, you know they have a ton of champions, over 600 now. All those champions come from unique factions, each with their own history in the world of Talera. Today, let's meet fantasy's famous bad guys, the Orcs. Best part is, it's free to play. Use my link below or scan this QR code to download for mobile and desktop. All right, you guys, Orcs get a bad rap in fantasy, but in Raid, they're not all bad. Well, they were created by the Dark Lord Syroth. They have a really good reason not to like humans. After a brutal war fought against the Banner Lords, High Elves, and Sacred Order, their lands were annexed, forcing most Orc clans to become nomadic. And now, 
They're mostly just trying to survive. Now, I've seen an ally in Queen Elva and the Elves. They've now joined her cause, but even they don't know her true motivations. Want to find out more? Play the campaign for the full story. These guys look really cool. You can just see how much each orc has influenced by its tribe's personality in each design. Here's a couple of my favorites. And this month, Rage just released a huge new Doom Tower update. There are two huge new bosses to take on. Stranix the Dark Fae and Bommel the Dreadhorn. Along with enemy balance on Tower 4's new secret rooms to discover, and most importantly, new artifact sets to win. And if that's not enough, the whole month is packed with awesome events and tournaments including one very special event with a brand new feature, Super Raids. That's right, you guys. Super Raids let you double up your rewards from hitting dungeons and massively speed up your progress. This is amazing for new players, and if there's ever that time to start playing, it's now, because you don't want to miss this. All you have to do is click the link in my description or scan the QR code on the screen, and you'll receive an epic hero, Chonaru, who is amazing in the Doom Tower, 200 Silver K, 1 XP boost, 1 Energy Refill, and 1 Ancient Shard, so you can summon an awesome champion as soon as you get in the game. All this treasure will be waiting for you here. The rewards only be available for new players and only for the next 30 days. If you want to play with me in the game, my name is Dave underscore DDE. If you're fast, you can join my clan. You guys, it's that easy. Click the links in the description or scan the code right here. Support our channel by downloading Raid right now. I will see you in the game. So, I just came out of secondary. Dave's still in there. That was interesting. We're gonna see how long he takes to come out. Nope. How are you? How was your secondary experience? Really fun. <laughs> Bad luck. Went through the oh, last my time bad no luck. Problem. Because last time you went in the other lane, got caught in the other lane, then got a third COVID test randomly <sighs> and screwed you. This time Not I fun bring you. This right time now. I bring you. My secret way. Which is through domestic. And all of a sudden you end up in secondary because you look suspicious. Oh, I look suspicious? You get done winking at the guy. Am I going to find anything in your bag? I walked by. What did I say? I'm going to find a dildo. <laughs> I'll see you later. See you guys later. Bye. I'll see you in a bit. What's up, you guys? We are back. Canada. It's been a minute since I filmed anything in Canada. I did say I wouldn't abandon the Canadian content and I'm not. So here we are, backyard of my house. Gonna pull out the SVJ today. Now I know the first thing you guys are thinking. Right now I can see everybody in the comments. Damon's got to get a twin turbo kit. That car was absolutely insane. Fastest car I've ever driven. Crazy. Just crazy. But I mean that kit is like hundreds of thousands of dollars. So let's just pump the brakes here for a second. Let's go with an F1 exhaust because this car really deserves that first. All right, you guys, there she is, the SVJ. Also, by the way, look, the R34 GTR has been just chilling out on the top here. I do have to do something with this car at some point. I really bought this car as just a passion car for me, just like Dave when we built the uh, ITR for him. This car is just perfect the way it is. I, I basically did what I wanted to do to it. We have the Nismo front end. It already is a V-Spec too, so it has a carbon fiber hood. It's got the LM wheels. I thought about doing one more thing to this, which was actually right here. So we have the titanium exhaust but right there if we got rid of that resonator it would be a little louder which would actually liven this car up a little bit more this has a really good reliable rb26 so i don't want to mess with that too much bayside blue iconic this car as it sits is money now we got the career gt in the back here the career gt hasn't been out in a minute but this has to make its u.s debut because i'll be able to actually drive this car full tilt and with the unobtainium exhaust made out of ink canal back there with the resonators and the x-pipe and everything we got this thing sounding mint you guys Le Mans v10 with this exhaust it's like nothing in the in the fleet even if we straight pipe this it's not going to sound anything like this and i think this is the best sounding v10 and this is going to be the best sounding v12 and this is just what it is let's put some heat in the svj's engine because i noticed yesterday when i was looking at this car we have and i don't know if you guys can see it we have a nail in the tire a nail right here a little silver dot in there pretty good so i'm thinking go to august luxury motor cars and go and say hi to the guys at the garage and see if they can't hook a brother up and get this nail taken out and hopefully it doesn't require a whole new tire even stock this thing sounds amazing so let's do a cold start Hey, good morning. <laughs> you guys have 
haven't seen Anthony in a minute. Diligently working in, what do you call your place? The DD Merch Lab? That's right. <laughs> How are you doing? God, dude. I'm not going to lie. Driving a stock SVJ is pretty <laughs> boring after a winter. Yeah, I bet it is. I was just driving this down here and I was like, at least if it's not going to go fast, sound we, good. we need it to sound good. Yeah. So I'm going to ship it down. Kintani can do their magic. Nice. F1 exhaust. We got a package for you. Yeah. Anthony's supplement <laughs> store. <laughs> I can hear you in my place with my air conditioning running. I can hear you like as you come over the bridge. Oh, I know that you're stock? coming. Yeah. I'm so glad you got this color. Yeah. It's insane. Dude. I don't know how Matt can <laughs> pull that off. <laughs> Matt August. Magic the, man. He's a magician, man. Pokeru comes around once in a while when, <laughs> when DD needs a car. We got a new, new merch drop. Yes, we do. Friday, September 24th. You guys heard it here. New merch drop. You'll see it all. It's going to be the black with the pink collection. That fire pink. It's going to look so good, you guys. Plus, we're doing these. Yes, we are doing these. So we're going to have a fish. The DDE 11 720 GTR. This is going to be the 720 GTR drop, you guys. Stay tuned for that. We're going to have more in the video, so you're going to see everything before it drops. Let's just say this hat is fire. You're going to want to pick one of these up. And all limited edition again. This is one of my favorite hats. What are you up to today? Secret call with Ryan Townsley at Protect Film Solution. You know why, but I don't oh, think yeah. these guys know why. I let him in on that secret. Oh, you did? Yeah, DDE Car Care line. Okay. Actually, only if you watch the uh, Stories channel, you'll know. Oh, you, get a little, you did a little secret drop on that. I did. All right, so that's that's what I'm doing. That, the gym, and uh, a little bit more merch work. All right, see you in a bit. Have a great I'm morning. Today, so if you want to come hang out later. All right, I'll hit you up. Dude, we need to make some DD slides. They're in the works. They're in the works? Maybe they're in the works. <laughs> <laughs> you son of a b all right, guys, let's go get this nail taken out. Meet wifey at the bank. I gotta pick up a check for several hundreds of thousands of dollars and actually pay the down payment on this car. Hello. Hello. You got money for me? What do we got? Here you go. This is it? You just bought a Lamborghini. Proof we pay our bills. Down payment on SVJ, $299,000. I'm eating craft dinner tonight. <laughs> really nice of Matt and Mike and the whole team to kind of float this for the week while we were in the US filming videos. Typically, they don't give you the car uh, before you make the payment. Welcome back to 3510 Spectrum Court. August Luxury Motor Cars, ladies and gentlemen. All right, guys, let's go pay some bills. Matt flipped around and came back because he's going to want this. Whoa. Hey, the boys. What's up? Hey, hey, what's going on, Sexy buddy? time, the face of August. There it is. Yeah. There's there the is. face. How dare I cover it? How you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. We've missed you. I love how he starts lying right off the bat. Hey, buddy. How are you? Good. How are you? Nice to see you. Yeah, good to see you, too. I have something. Uh -huh. Wrong Matt. Oh, nice try. What the heck, man? You got the wrong last name. Dude, the showroom looks stacked. Look at this. Not bad. Eh? When did you get Aventador S Roadster? Oh, we got the Diablo Roadster. We got some skittle looking colors. That's pretty cool, hey? Yeah, I took it. Those are here. sick. Oh, well, we'll go look at the cars here in a second. Nissa Matt. Hi, buddy. Thank you. First of all, first of all, thank you for letting me have a car that really you haven't paid for. <laughs> there you go. Is that enough? I'm hoping it is. It's the number I was sent. How have you been? How are you? So how's the car? Are we excited for this? Oh my gosh, you guys, these guys signed up for Gumball 2. So it's gonna get real rowdy next year. Like really rowdy, hey? This is pretty cool. How Max does it personally to everybody. Can you look through this? It's so cool. What are you gonna drive? I don't know yet. 765? 765. Yeah. You have one? Or you, no, you'll get one? one? Yeah, fair enough. How about a Ford GT? Take Kevin's car. Is this guy gonna drive it or what? Yeah. Kevin might come with us? Yeah. Oh my God, we'll have a cold Canadian crew. <laughs> That'd be nuts. If you drove that on Gumball, that would be legendary. Yeah, showroom is looking sick. These two look really good together. Something about these colors go really well together. A color I've always been in love with when it comes to purple, Porsche's ultraviolet. So sick because it's like a really deep purple, but it's not metallic at all. Yeah, it's a really nice car. I like the color. Yeah. We have two of them. We got Ferrari Row. Yeah. 458. 458 have gone through the roof in prices. This is really nice. Wow. 
650S Spider. This is a good bang for the buck. They're a great car. I mean, yeah. I drove a 675 to Nelson and back for a wedding this weekend. Yeah. What a blast that car is. Oh, yes. Like. On rails. It's unbelievable. It's so much fun. Yeah, yeah, as long as you don't have any McLaren problems. McLaren cars are one of the best bang for the buck. Even this 650S, this has the hydraulic suspension. This has the active aero. The roof comes off. I mean, it's got the updated styling. From a distance, the average person would think this is a P1 because of the headlights. Got a mono wiper. It's really one of the best cars. And this is up for grabs or someone's already bought it? No, it's I never for know sale. if you f***ers. It's for sale. Okay, it's for sale. So you guys, if you want a crazy car, contact August. They have some amazing new inventory. When most people have no inventory, I don't know what these guys are doing. I'm pretty sure they're extorting somebody. <laughs> this can't be legal. We're I'm lucky to have this amount of inventory for sure. You guys do. You guys always, and I don't know, you just keep it going. You, your system is the right system. Is that your Hummer? They're finally back from Predator. Oh, we got to check that out. Check this out though. Murdered out. 2019 turbo and that's for sale right now someone's gonna want that wasn't this on the same truck though as your brand new 4x4 squared yes where's that it'll be here in five six days we gotta show these guys that look at this your hummer is back same wheels slightly smaller tire probably drives a little better lifted it on me because it's bigger than i remember the coolest part you went with the yeah this is where we guys we really should have got the duramax upgrade but when our truck was going in for that scheduled covid hit and we didn't know what we were going to do so in the end we didn't do oh we should have done it look how epic that looks look at it, it says predator duramax dude that is so freaking sick oh we should have done that we should have duramax swapped it can you take me around the block in it yeah we okay let's go we gotta go for a ride we're going for a ride i gotta hear this thing because this is complete game changer first things first start it up i want to hear it I mean, Matt, you son of a <laughs> Something about just a murdered out black Hummer. It's so gangster. You look like fing private security or some Totally. Like mercenaries. In 04, it's probably the least amount of Hummers ever built. So they built it with an Alpha interior, which was the last year interior. Really? So this is all a factory Alpha interior, factory black wagon. Now it's got the new Duramax in it, which makes it better than a regular Alpha. You got my attention, Mr. August. You don't have to yell. Uh, you got another Gyarados Spider? Yeah. Oh, you guys got everything. How the f You guys have a tie can? Just got it. Okay, seriously, how the f you guys got everything. This is the only place to go if you want to buy a car. Trust me. First of all, it sounds insane. Does that sound yeah. wild? And it's so much easier to drive, eh? Well, you don't. You're not to the floor everywhere you go. <laughs> I love how it moves. Pretty good for a big truck. Totally. And see, these are 40s on there too, right? Oh, you got 40s. Yeah. You really throw 40s slow. on it, really actually slows the truck down. It makes down. a huge difference. But it looks cool. It does look cool. Right? I got the body lift and the 40s, so that, I'm pretty sure that's what they did. Body lifted your truck. Put the bigger tires on. Jeez. Jeez Louise. Hey, can we stop at the garage for a sec? Yeah. I want to ask the boys if they can take a nail on my SVJ tire. <laughs> <laughs> Nail in the back. Yeah, really? Yeah, I really do. Can you roll the windows up? You can have a conversation. Yeah, mine's really clacky. Like, so <laughs> August Garage. Man, we got quite the lineup of cars. Like two Murcielagos. We got the SV. Yeah, you know. <laughs> that front bumper. Sorry, would, right. would take the whole side of that car off. And we got the black LP640. Okay, let's see if they can squeeze me in today. Big black wagon. She looks good. Welcome to August Garage. Owen, my favorite man. What's going on? The guy who loves my camera. Yeah. No. Hey, I have a nail in my rear tire of the SVJ. At no fault to this guy. It's not how I bought it, but uh, I drove over something. Can we get it fixed today, please, buddy, buddy, buddy? Today, now, you walk in with the owner of August Motor Cars and you ask this. Ultimate flex. Yes. Leave the keys. We'll All right. Done. Okay, you want me to actually bring you the car? Cause it's down the road. <laughs> I'll go get it, I'll go get it. I'll go get it. I'll be back, I'll be back. I'm not gonna be that mean. Thank you, Owen. Bye. <laughs> he loves me. See you at the shop. Is this thing are full beans. <laughs> Matt, you might have a Duramax, but it ain't that fast. Absolute monster.
monster Hummers are. Like, look at that thing on the road. SVJ tire is done and we are in the 6M5 LT. This thing is nasty sounding. Listen to this. It sounds good. So this came all done like this, right? Yeah. Like, you didn't do any of this stuff to I think that steering wheel is aftermarket. That's pretty sick. Red stitching, carbon up top. Dave doesn't have this? No, nah, his wheel doesn't look like that. His just, I think the stock one from the 6M5 LT, as far as I know, was just all Alcantara. I think this is aftermarket. No, it's MSO. Is it really? I don't know. Oh, yeah, he's making <laughs> I will just, I'll just tell Dave, it's MSO. He didn't get that. Like his roof scoop he's missing. Could you imagine if they did the floating roof scoop, like a Pagani or something, on the Spider? I thought it'd be funny to like duct tape one. Like a duct make, tape like one. The make, make one, paint it white. This would literally blow off your car if it yeah, wasn't yeah. attached. This thing has bangs and shit when he shifts. So smooth. The clearance like DCT system, the way it's tuned to the car, it's just boom, boom, boom. Whoa! There's the bang I know. This is a really sexy car. Oh, she's all fixed. Good to go. looking car. That thing is growing on me more and more every time that I see it. Don't think I really want to mess with it all that much because obviously the SVJ already comes with this insane Ala Active Aero Kit from a Lamborghini. Got the Hummer in the background, took the thing up the mountain the other day for the first time. Forgot how much fun the Hummer is. We gotta do some more stuff with the Hummer. But right now what I want to ask you guys is do I keep the Career GT or do I potentially sell the Career GT? You see right now the market is really, really hot for cars. And the CGT when I got it has gone up about three or four hundred thousand dollars and that would be the perfect opportunity now to cash out and take that money twin turbo this eventually gotta do the f1 exhaust first and then take a little bit of money and put it in the bank and other investments do you guys love the career gt i feel like some people get that car but the majority don't let's go have a look at it up close there she is what do you guys think the fate of the career gt should be i really like this car this has always been a dream of mine to have one of these cars and i've actually gotten to drive it a significant amount it's not always in the videos because I kind of feel like I've reached the limitations of this car, short of wrapping it a different color. But we've done the wheels, we did the exhaust, it sounds insane. It's got the carbon tech art on the front and the back. And that's about it. To keep this car in its true value, you're gonna really want this car stock or have all the stock parts that are easily reversible like what we did, bolt on exhaust and all those things. Should I keep this car? This is the most expensive car on the channel that we have our money invested into. Yet I kind of feel like it doesn't always get the love. Maybe that's my own fault. Maybe I really do need to take this car down to the US and really let it rip so everybody can understand with their ears why this car is so amazing. Obviously, I can't let everyone drive this car. It's an experience like no other car. So why don't we do a cold start, take it out front, and let's talk about this. Does it stay or does it go? Put it in the community tab to a vote. And I'm not joking. I know we do this sometimes where we do a vote and then you guys feel like we don't take your advice. We do take your advice. You just got to remember, it doesn't always happen in the order that you think. We got my wife a G-Wagon, but we already knew Dave was going to get a Urus. And you guys said, get a nurse. You did, right? Send a bitch. I gotta admit, taking the roof off, it's probably one of my favorite things about the CGT. I honestly really like the Career GT with the roof off. What do you guys think? I think it's cool to have some sort of like a Targa removable top but it's a hard top. I'm not as big of a fan of soft tops. I'm sure some of you guys can feel me on that one. Let's take this thing out. We 
the perfect kind of afternoon evening right now to take this for a little cruise. All right, guys, we've let the transmission warm up a little bit. Gearbox should be good to go. I think this would be a pretty epic view for you guys. In a good way. And the vlog. So, CGT, does it stay or does it go? I would be heartbroken if I lost this car, but for the greater good of DDE and the business, maybe there's a better car. When one door closes, another door opens. Look at that view. The lake in the background. All right, guys, let me know. I'll put it up in the uh, community tab. Career GT, which way is it going? And I'd like to know if you're gonna comment, what would we do if we sold this with the money? Is there a better car? Do I go back? Do I get the P1? Do we do the high downforce kit, HDK it? Or do I just learn to make more money and we keep this thing and we drive it when it needs to be driven and we get it down to the States and I go bananas with donuts and ripping the out of it just the way it is for the people who appreciate the Career GT as much as I do. All right, guys, thanks for watching this episode. I'll see you guys in the next one. Smash the subscribe button. Wifey was calling me on the way up the hill. I was just like, Damon, dinner's ready. So I gotta go home. See you guys in the next one. Peace. Man, the Murcielago SV is a weapon. And I actually know someone who took one of these, twin turboed it, and manual swapped it. No joke, I'm saving that for another episode, but that's all you're getting right now. That does exist to that car.